What know a key component to being a gentleman? Carrying a handkerchief. I'll explain. Cause we're the talk, talk, talk the tavern. I'm Travis Sivart, talk of the tavern. And a lot of people go, you're a gentleman. How come nobody knows how to do that anymore? Well, we're not taught how to do that. <clears throat> but gentlemen is a matter of perception, but we're not going to get into that. I'm going to get into hankies right now. As a gentleman, you should always carry a hanky. Why? Because they're handy. If you get your hands dirty and have nothing clean it on, you can use your hanky. If you must blow your nose and you don't have a tissue handy, you can use your hanky. But hanky's true purpose is to hand to somebody else. You want to keep... If you do use a hanky to blow your nose and wipe your hands frequently, carry two hankies. One for you, one to hand to somebody who is upset. Quite often a woman. And more often than not, this is where I lose my hankies. Perfectly clean hanky, handing it to a woman who is emotionally distraught, or a man, or whoever. That is the purpose of a hanky. As a gentleman. Now, it has a lot of functional uses. You cut yourself, you don't have anything to bind that wound, use your hanky. Mind you, as long as it's not like cut open your thigh or something. Anyhow, keep that in mind. Use a hanky as one of your many tools in your gentleman's toolbox. Follow this playlist for more thoughts on being a gentleman. And uh, here's to bringing back the age of gentlemen. Make sure you subscribe below. Let me know your thoughts and what else you carry in your gentleman's toolkit or what else you'd like to hear about on this playlist. I'll see you next time.